summer peachy look but like kind of my everyday makeup look but not really so that's what i'll be doing today i'm not no beauty guru so if i do something wrong or like if you are a beauty guru and you do makeup since you were like five years old don't please please don't rush me in the comments and don't tell me that i'm doing it wrong okay if i'm doing it wrong let me do it wrong okay this is the way i like it this is the way i look i like it you know um disclaimer i just want to say i do not wear makeup every single day i sometimes just do this for fun and then i take it off i be home all day and i just do it in the middle of the day and then i just take it off when i go to bed so it's not like an everyday thing i don't wear makeup to school i don't wear makeup to go out or anything like that at least i could do is put mascara on and lipstick so so yeah this is my little makeup tutorial um i know the sports bra does not freaking match um the thing but your girl does not want to wear a bra today today i'm not feeling a bra so we're just gonna have to deal with this so i got all my makeup right here um i have my little makeup collection over there but let's get on with the video so the first thing i start off with is jergens um lotion and i just put it in my face because i don't have a moisturizer i want to get the clean and clear dual action moisturizer because you know, so I'm just gonna moisturize my face real quick. If I keep looking this way, it's because I have um my mirror. So when I moisturize my skin, I put on primer, and I use the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, and I just try to open it, and I just put it like in my T zone because that's where I have like the most pores or whatever. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Since it's summer, I don't want to have foundation, and I don't use foundation, like, anyways. I'm just not, like, a foundation type of gal. I go for BB cream. Oh, my God, I have the wrong way. I go for BB cream, and this is the one by Maybelline, the Dream BB Fresh 8-in-1 um, Beauty Balm. And I just, I put this in the back of my hand. I put that much. And this is, like, this is, like, a perfect match to my skin tone, like. It might not look like it. It looks really light right now. But when you like. I'm like breaking out really bad down here. And then I just go like this. I literally blends it all out for me. And I'm just going to blend it out. I feel like this beauty blender like soaks in all of my freaking product. But this gives you like a really sheer tint. So if you have like a lot of pimples down your chin area i try to prevent putting makeup in my chin i put like the lightest tint unless i'm like really going out so next i'm going to go in with my maybelline superstay better skin concealer and i got this in the shade medium because there was no other shade and then the other ones seemed too dark but you know the concealer is always supposed to be a little bit lighter and i just put in a couple of blemishes oh and i forgot and i do put some in my under eyes i always forget about my under eyes because i don't really care Look like this, and then I go with the back part because it still has like a little bit of tint, and I just go under my eyes because then it like kind of sets it a little bit. I feel like it's just me that's that I feel like it sets it. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with a powder to set my under eyes, my face, everything. I gotta see it. Um, if you guys didn't know, I did have the e.l.f. one in the shade medium, light medium, but I felt like it was leaving me really cakey, but I'm still using it. It's just, I want to try this one out. I've been trying it out lately and I really like it. So, tap the excess off and I just put it under my eyes. 
Coil of my butter bronzer. I like wearing this during the summer because it gives me like a glow. And you guys are like, girl, what the frick are you bronzing for? And honestly, guys, let me vent about this. It doesn't really show in my skin, so I feel like my skin and this are literally the same shade. I like to take the contouring palette and the lightest tap. Oh, I also like to use this white shade to set my under eyes. But I didn't do that today because I just wanted to show you guys because I got that new thing. And I take the lightest amount of bronzer, bronzer, contour, and I literally tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. And I take the lightest, and I go like this, like this, like this, and I go back and forth so an even amount could go on. And then the, the rest of it, I just put it in the forehead area. Now I'm going in with blush. Um, I used to go really ham on blush. And guys, I'm honestly, I want to, like, I want to, like, I don't know. I, I want to go, like, start doing my eyebrows. But I'm not, like, a pro at doing eyebrows. Okay. So I always start on my nose, like, the slightest at my nose. Because I want to let the pigment off. Put some on my cheek. It's going to look like that. So, we're gonna go in with highlighter. Um, I like to do my eyes last, it's just me. And I put a little bit on my hand, that much. And I hate putting highlighter on. I prefer powder highlight. But I saw a tip that if you want like a natural glow going with stick highlighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna literally go like that. And just let it sit there and then I'm gonna blend it in. And I'm gonna go to the other eye. Blend it in with this finger because I think this is like your softest finger. I forgot what it was. And it gives you like a very natural, natural glow. I'm gonna put a little bit on the finger, uh, on the opposite finger. No, my nose. Now we're gonna take this brush and we're gonna take my bronzer. And we're gonna freaking do eye makeup. I usually go for the fourth color in this metallic palette I have. And I usually go for this nude right here. It has a bunch of swatches, but I usually go for this nude right here. But today we're gonna be fancy. Oh my god, I feel like I put too much blush on. Like, I feel like your girl exaggerated with blush up the top right here. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. So I wanted to pause the video real quick to say um, my blush. It's gonna get better. I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but I'm gonna fix it. So if you're like talking about my blush and how it looks crazy, trust me, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. I'm gonna fix it, okay? It's just gonna take me a while. Just keep on watching. Don't click off, okay? Keep on watching and subscribe. The brush looks orange in this shade right here because it's the shade that I always use. So first, we're gonna bronze. My eyelid, because it's like a light color or whatever. And then I go in with either the one of these two colors. So today I'm feeling like a pinkish look, so I'm going to go for the pink. And I'm just going to dip my brush in. Ooh, girl, 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 it's too much. And I just do the crease of my eye. Cause it doesn't give you like a too pigmented don't worry guys i'll fix that i just didn't know so my eyes are kind of crazy right now and i'm gonna go in with the same brush because your girl does not want to get up and we're gonna take the oh my god we're gonna take the goldish color and that's gonna give you like a bronzed up eye Now I know why beauty gurus always do their eye first, and that's because it like freaking goes everywhere. It took me like a day to like realize why they always do their eyes first. Some of them do their thing first, but yeah. Practice makes perfect, guys. So if you see that I'm like trying out everything on camera, you're already 20 minutes in. How do people do this? Okay, now we're gonna curl my freaking eyelashes. Um, I don't do my eyebrows. I live with natural because 
Tú no puedes joder mucho. And then I go on with the blood, with my highlighter, with my powder highlighter, and then I just take my pinky because it's the one that fits. I put it in my inner corner. And then my, and at this point, my freaking eyelashes have hair, have freaking powder on them from the eye makeup. So what I do is I just lick my finger and I just go through them, taking it off. And then I curl my lashes. And I just wait like five seconds because I can't have it on for much longer. And I go on with my, my OG. You already know, but if you don't know, it's the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. And it's lots of lashes on. And I love how the little spoolie thing looks like this. Sometimes they get clumped up together and that's fine. Literally, that happens to everybody. They just like take another freaking spoolie and then um, break it. Or you could take the thing and just do it yourself. I don't know. Every freaking worms, and then I try not to blink. I want to get new brushes. Like I know it sounds so dumb, but I really do want to get new brushes. I'm kind of tired of the same old, same old. And then I set my makeup with the LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. This is the HD High Definition Setting Spray. Um, High Definition. Long lasting matte finish. I don't have my mirror on me, so I better not mess this up. And I put lipstick on. Oh my god, my is so cute. Look at her. She's sleeping. She's the cutest thing. Faded. Thank you guys so much for watching. You already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. Okay, guys. So, right now, I'm on a live stream. I'm going to film it from my computer because I'm using it right now. But I want to give a shout out to... I'm going to put, like, a little picture of their channel right here. So, you guys can go, like, I don't know, subscribe to them. Or, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they have a channel. But I want to give a shout out to JC Plays, Tashlin Lit, Victoria, and Gabby. And you guys can go also check out Jackie House channel.